Hey everyone, you're watching We Had That. Today's video is a walkthrough of the 2022 Joe Lanta Toy Show. Joe Lanta originated in the year 2000, but several years ago the name was changed to Toy Lanta to better represent the wide range of toys available at the show. This year, 2022, is the first year that there were two shows, a Toy Lanta show with all kinds of toys and a Joe Lanta show featuring more G.I. Joe and one-sixth scale action figures. The Real American Hero G.I. Joe was also well represented, as you will see in this video. So let's jump right into it and see what they had at the show. Right out of the gate, we've got a boxed vintage Japanese soldier from the Soldiers of the World collection, as well as several boxed Adventure Team figures, a variety of loose vintage 12-inch figures, including a Green Beret and a French Resistance Fighter, and here on the left we've got a 12-inch vintage Bullet Man and Adventure Team Commander. Moving on, we have a wide variety of a vintage 12-inch G.I. Joe uniform sets, and a bunch of equipment sets and loose equipment pieces, weapons, helmets, more weapons, and gear. Uh, here's some more carded pieces, including some Action Man, um, more uh, Adventure Team uniform sets, um, several of the 12-inch uh, vintage figures, um, here's an interesting piece, a camping set for Mark's figures, which I'd never seen before, still in the box, various military vehicles, as well as an adventure team vehicle here. And moving over to some of the larger boxed GI Joe vintage sets, there's a troubleshooter up there, a capture copter, the GI Joe yellow helicopter, all still in the box and uh, some sets from other countries um, as well. So we've got all kinds of 12-inch vintage G.I. Joe represented. Here we've got uh, some Real American Hero carded action figures and more sets from the vintage 12-inch line. Um, Seawolf still in the box. A G.I. Joe Halloween costume with the mask from Collegeville. There's a really cool piece. I have not seen many of those floating around. A uh, helicopter. I don't think that one's by Hasbro, but it's in scale for G.I. Joe figures. Um, several more boxed vintage G.I. Joe sets. There's the sea sled. Uh, all kinds of stuff here. It, it's probably the most vintage 12 inch gi joe still in the package that i've ever seen at one place uh here's more what looks to be loose complete 12 inch figures and sets all kinds of stuff down here and now we're moving into uh some uniform sets that aren't vintage gi joe uh, more modern sets Super Joe Foot Locker. That's a piece I don't see very often. And uh, here we've got a combination of vintage and modern vehicles. Um, some random G.I. Joe patches and stickers. Here's uh, more carded uh, uniform sets and accessory sets. And then a variety of loose 12 inch vintage G.I. Joe pieces. More figures with uniform sets. Uh, some of them are, look like they're complete. Some of them look like they're just parts of sets. Soldiers of the World Russian, still in the package. Uh, looks like an Eagle Eye Joe there. More accessories. Um, there's a couple of Barbie pieces. I really didn't see much in the way of Barbie at the show, but there were a few pieces. Some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trading cards. Looks like this table has... A variety of stuff. Uh, all kinds of things here. Just random old toys. There are some really cool pieces in some of these miscellaneous boxes. Masters of the Universe in there. Um, here's a couple of 12-inch figures that weren't from G.I. Joe. Lost in Space Model Kit. Star Trek. Uh, there's a Robin piece there. I believe that that's also a model kit. 
some more modern GI Joe pieces. And then moving over here, we've got some of the, uh, oh, nice Dick Tracy car and a giant scale Marine, uh, similar to the one six scale Marine, various other box sets here. We've got some real American hero action figures and a box of file cards for the figures, as well as various weapons and accessories for the three and three quarter inch real American hero GI Joes. Uh, starting out, we had a lot of, oh, there's some Star Wars stuff there. Um, we started out with a lot of the vintage 1960s and 70s 12-inch Joes. But as I move through the show, you'll see there was also a wide variety of real American hero G.I. Joe represented as well. So the show wasn't just one six scale. There's the Spy Island book and record set. And uh, here's some more 12 inch GI Joe and karate men boxed set, uh, Sesame street lunch box up there. There's a wide variety of marks pieces as well, although not nearly as much as GI Joe, the, the Marx stuff was pretty well represented. Another troubleshooter in the box, uh, some fighting yank pieces. And uh, check that out. Another G.I. Joe costume and mask from Collegeville. Migo Robin. What appear to be some more of the modern uh, G.I. Joe reissues, as well as some of the vintage uh, and possibly some of the more modern 1-6 scale uniform sets. And then some more vintage G.I. Joes. I think there's a muscle body in the package there on the right. Uh, more 12 inch scale accessories, helmet, hats, all kinds of weapons. Lots of cases of various 1 6 scale pieces. Racer X from uh, Sp Speed Racer, and some custom Joes. more miscellaneous pieces, real American hero vehicles. We've got all kinds of vehicles uh, bagged with some of their accessories. There are on the right, you can see some uh, carded GI Joe real American hero figures and more vehicles. Six Million Dollar Man. If you like the Six Million Dollar Man, this booth had pretty much anything that you could want from the Six Million Dollar Man toy line and a bunch of stuff that I'd never even seen before. Uh, I've, I've met this collector before. He has got the most amazing Six Million Dollar Man collection I've ever seen, and that's just the stuff that he's getting rid of. That doesn't even count all the pieces in his personal collection. But if it is $6 million man, uh, this is your guy. He's got a little bit of everything and a lot of some things, including numerous figures and accessory sets still in the package. Um, if, if it had the $6 million man name on it, he's probably got one or two of them. In fact, there's a magazines that just mentioned $6 million man photos um, all kinds of figures with the outfits. As you can see, he's got a little bit of everything from the $6 million man line. And here we've got the Hardy Boys as well. And some more G.I. Joe DVDs and uh, collector's books. Lunchbox there. More six million dollar man in the box. Some Masters of the Universe figures from the dollar store. Mork and Mindy. There's a Star Wars Lando Calrissian and some Chips figures. 
uh, miscellaneous pieces available for sale. G.I. Joe headquarters, several Pulsar figures, lots of random 1-6 scale pieces. Here are a couple of prints uh, with the artwork from the um, Soldiers of the World from the uh, the vintage 12-inch series, as well as a bunch of outfits, loose outfits that have been bagged and carted in comic book boxes. The G.I. Joe Jeep and trailer and spotlight with the box. Tons of complete real American hero figures. And the prices on these were just, I think, really reasonable. As you can see here, we've got a lot of these figures for 10 bucks complete. Um, here's some of the Valor versus Venom still in the package and some loose carded GI, or sorry, loose GI Joes here. Uh, more loose GI Joes. Even more loose GI Joes. This vendor had a couple of bins of G.I. Joes that he hadn't even bothered to put in the plastic cases. You could dig through those bins and find stuff for $5 a piece. Here we've got the robot from Lost in Space, a bunch of 1-6 scale sideshow monsters, and the 14-inch uh, Migos that came out recently. Um... This vendor here has posters that are reference guides for uh, a lot of lines, like there's the Raiders of the Lost Ark line, shows all the figures and accessories that came with a specific line, or in some cases with G.I. Joe, just all the pieces that came with a single set. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Wave 1 of the Superpowers Collection, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, and then here we've got a variety of more modern 1-6 scale figures and accessories. There's a Real American Hero vehicle down there. Lots of, of loose pieces here. Here's some boxed sets for the more modern G.I. Joe. Uh, a wide variety of pieces here. I don't think everything that the vintage series had was re-released, but an awful lot of it was re-released. Uh, and we've got uh, Flash Gordon, Cato, and various sets for Captain Action. Uh, Black Rabbit Craftworks was making a variety of leather goods. There's also some G.I. Joe figures there. And Mark II Toys, which had this awesome, cool piece. What I, I'm assuming is 3D printed. Here we've got a variety of comic books and G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, I checked the price on some of these classified, and they were actually really cheap considering what they're, uh, they're going for on eBay these days. Spirit, Gung Ho, Cobra Commander and Snake Eyes, just a wide variety, Cobra Troopers, Zartan. Uh, here we've got a bunch of Black Major figures. If you're not familiar with Black Major, I believe he had access to old G.I. Joe molds and he's making new characters uh, by combining parts from old molds and putting those together. Those are some cool figures. This vendor also had a variety of vintage G.I. Joe and uh, as well as the Black Major pieces. I actually picked up uh, one of the G.I. Joe figures from him while I was there, as well as vintage Masters of the Universe figures. Uh, some of them complete, some of them incomplete, but a wide variety of G.I. Joe, Vintage Masters of the Universe, and loose Masters of the Universe Classics figures, probably the most Masters of the Universe Classics figures I've ever seen from one vendor. Uh, just a huge variety of these. I collect Masters of the Universe Classics. 
So that was really nice to see. But the prices on those figures have just gone up so much, it's rare that I pick any of them up anymore. Um, he also had the packaged Masters of the Universe classics, including Scareglow. Uh, that is probably the number one figure that I would like to add to my collection, a loose Masters of the Universe classic Scareglow. Apparently the boxed ones are running around $400 now. Um, ver various Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and vintage Masters of the Universe figures here, and then more that have been put together with either some or all of their weapons. So if you're looking for G.I. Joe, this is the show, but there's also other stuff like Masters of the Universe and Six Million Dollar Man as well. Here's some more loose uh, G.I. Joe. There's some Tiger Force in there. I was hoping to find some Tiger Force figures in this guy's $5 bin, and I actually found a figure that had been put together that was half of a Tiger Force lifeline, so I was happy about that. A uh, variety of... I don't know if these are knockoff figures or what. Here are the bins that I was talking about before, $5 each. Tons of great figures in there. Uh, and then we've got some more figures in packages that come with some of their accessories. The $5 figures didn't have any accessories, but that's still cool. Lots of carded G.I. Joe figures over here. And check out all these bagged vintage vehicles. That is a wide variety of vehicles over here. Moving on over here, we've probably got the largest collection of Hiss tanks that I've ever seen assembled in one place. The uh, high-end tanks were $30, but he also had a lot of them at $15 and even $10 a piece. And those $10 Hiss tanks were still pretty good. Um, a bunch of boxed, uh, smaller vehicle and outpost type sets, more carded G.I. Joe box G.I. Joe vehicles, huge, huge variety of real American hero stuff at this booth. Some of those prices get pretty high, but uh, he had fair prices. There's an Action Force torpedo, and then we get into uh, a, just a random case. There's some supernaturals and superpowers. There's a boxed Modulok as well as a boxed Action Force uh, weapon. And... Uh, just a variety of, of different pieces here. Legions of Power boxed set over there. Carded Silverhawks figure. That's nice. Uh, the Micronauts set there. A G.I. Joe vehicle in the box. More carded pieces. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a lot of G.I. Joe. The prices on a lot of this stuff was out of my my price range, but there were a lot of deals to be had. Uh, there were a lot of inexpensive, cool pieces. There's a carded whiplash there. More boxed G.I. Joe. Here's some of the more modern 12-inch G.I. Joe. Uh, Masters of the Universe 2000 line. Some more classifieds figures, as well as some more three and three quarter inch carded. And you can't have a toy show without somebody bringing pops. More classifieds. Uh, this was just a case of random stuff. We have some more G.I. Joe in this case. And I believe this booth was from Cotswold Collectibles, who is redoing the Super Joe in one six scale. Um, Cotswold is one of the largest places online where you can buy new accessories to replace old lost pieces for uh, your vintage G.I. Joe sets. So reproduction pieces and pieces that are similar to uh, vintage pieces, but in different colors or slightly different styles. Check out Cotswold Collectibles. Don't know the URL offhand. Uh, if you're not already familiar with them and collect one six scale stuff, 
They have a huge variety of pieces on their website. Here are some of the Cotswold bodies, 19 bucks a piece, and all different kinds of heads, both flocked and painted head, uh, similar to the old vintage G.I. Joes. So Cotswold's a great place to check out if you are a 1-6 collector. Mego Conan, Mego Lizard, some old vintage rare Star Wars figures, as well as a few that are more common. Uh, Lord of the Rings, more Lord of the Rings. You do not see those very often. Knickerbocker, I believe. More G.I. Joe. Uh, some of the newer Action Man sets still in the box. I say newer, but it's been quite a few years at this point. Uh, still newer than the 60s and 70s 12-inch G.I. Joe. More carded Real American Hero style G.I. Joe. Some of these are newer. Uh, more of the newer 12-inch 1-6 scale figures and accessory sets here. The Harley Davidson Motorcycle G.I. Joe. Carded figures and accessories. Uh, there was a Robin Hood figure. A whole bunch of the Shadow series. Ten bucks a piece. Then everything on this table, as you can see, was $20. Um, I actually picked up uh, a piece from here for 20 bucks. A couple of Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. Wonder Woman from the Super uh, Superheroes line. The DC Superheroes line. Planet of the Apes model kits, boxed the Shadow vehicle, and some more Captain Action. Bunch of superpowers and mask. Mighty Crusaders. Uh, Jace and the Wheel Warriors. Oh, Gargoyles figures carded. Land of the Lost carded figures. And a Beetlejuice boxed set. In humanoids still in the package. You do not see those very often. Uh, box G.I. Joe 12-inch figure. And we're back to the superpowers and masks stuff here. A uh, Herculoid set. That's pretty cool. Captain Power. Some Mego uh, Little Rascals figures. More Micronauts. Uh, more... Loose Migos, Star Trek, Planet of the Apes, World's Greatest Superheroes, Thundar the Barbarian carded sets. There's Thor, Batman, Wizard of Oz, all kinds of Migos at this booth. Bucky O'Hare carded figure, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Boxed Mask. Uh, some wrestling figures, wide variety there at that table. A box of random stuff here. 1-6 scale ATV, the Ultimate Soldier Weapons Packs, and a variety of miscellaneous 1-6 scale figures, including some of the more modern G.I. Joe and Action Man. There's a close-up of that motorcycle G.I. Joe set. That's a nice one. Scramble Pilot, Battle Force 2000, Boxed Jet, Lucky Shot 1-6 scale leather goods. This guy does 3D printing and also makes 1-6 scale leather pieces for your action figures. Lots of holsters, belts, and guns. And uh, he's also got some of these uh, really cool G.I. Joe Super Joe packs that are one sixth scale. So if you wanted uh, a one sixth scale GI Joe Super Joe, this guy could gear him up in a variety of colors. And here we've got chicken fried toys. These guys uh, have boxes, just cases of parts for the new four inch figures. So you can put together whatever kind of figures you want, but they also sell their own line, which I believe is called dime store legends. 
So you can get Western figures that are already put together as well as, and well, here's actually some of the Western figures that, uh, that they've already got together as well as putting together your own figures or just buying, uh, body parts. There's a Batman set. And then one of the celebrity guests that was at the show was Keone Young, who is the voice of Storm Shadow on the G.I. Joe cartoon. Now, at a lot of conventions, uh, it's tough to find food. This convention actually had snacks and boxed lunches set up at the end of the hall, so you didn't have to leave the show or run around trying to find a place to grab something to eat. You could just grab a boxed lunch or a snack right there from the hotel. And there was also a charity auction and uh, a concert by the band Radio Cult. Now, what did I pick up at the show? Well, first of all, I got half of a Tiger Force Lifeline figure. I realize it's the wrong crotch piece and legs, but for five bucks, I thought it was worth it. I got the, uh, I can't remember what this is called, the Battle Sounds Stalker. Uh, of course, the backpack doesn't work. I'm going to look online and see if I can find out how to change the battery in that. I got an almost complete Big Bear. He's missing one missile, but I thought for 10 bucks, that's a good price. I got a Crazy Legs figure. He's got all his gear, but part of his gun is broken, so I can't attach the stock to the gun. But uh, for 20 bucks, a Crazy Legs that has the stock that goes with the gun, I thought was a pretty good deal. I was looking for some pieces to finish my Budo figure and ended up being gifted a Fun School Budo still on the card. I'd always wanted a Fun School figure just so that I'd have one in my collection uh, on the card. And to get this one of a figure that I was already trying to complete was absolutely awesome. I had mentioned before uh, the Retro Toy Quest uh, posters of the different G.I. Joe and other toy line sets. You can go to RetroToyQuest.com. The website is still under construction, but they've already got up-to-date price guides and uh, lists of action figures in each wave of each series for a variety of series. Um, Rambo, Superpowers, um, Mask, uh, I can't even remember all of the ones that they have. They're still working on G.I. Joe, and I believe they're also working on Star Wars. I was gifted a gun for the Masters of the Universe vintage Cobra Khan figure, which I have been trying to pick up for quite a while, so that was a cool score. And I was also gifted an actual metal Bulletman helmet. So this isn't a vintage Bulletman helmet. It's a, a reproduction, but it's made out of metal, and it's got some weight to it. It's a really cool piece. I picked up a DC Comics Superheroes The Flash carded figure. Uh, I got a, a good deal on that. I think I paid 15 bucks for that. Um, my DC Comics Superheroes collection is starting to come along nicely. And finally, I got an autograph from a professional wrestler and G.I. Joe character, Sergeant Slaughter. He was a pretty nice guy and um, it was it was cool to get to meet him and get a, a vintage piece of G.I. Joe promotional paraphernalia signed by him. For those of you who are interested in toys, in addition to Joe Lanta, the organizers of Joe Lanta also put together Toy Lanta. Toy Lanta is one of the biggest toy shows in the southeastern United States, held annually just north of Atlanta, Georgia. Visit ToyLanta.com for more information about both Toy Lanta and Joe Lanta. As always, thanks for watching.